Hey, this is Nate Story with Bright Agri Tech, and today I'm going to talk really fast about dosing systems. Whether you're an aquaponic grower or a hydroponic grower, you can make use of auto dosing systems. systems are basically systems that are monitoring your pH, your temperature, your EC, all of kind of these different water variables and they're changing those variables in real time. So I'm sitting next to an IntelliDose system. We've got this hooked up to one of our warehouse systems um, and you can see that this thing is running right now uh, with set points for EC and pH and uh, it's monitoring temperature. It's monitoring all of these things. Now these systems are very very cool because it means if you're a hydroponic grower you don't have to go out and hand dose all of the time. You don't have to go out and take a measurement and uh, you know then add a little pH up or a little pH down. You don't have to add additional fertilizer. This thing is monitoring EC, that's the fertilizer concentration, and pH, the acidity of the solution, in real time, and it's responding to it with little pumps that are putting uh, fertilizer and pH uh, tempering uh, chemicals into the water itself. So if you're an aquaponic producer, you're probably looking at this saying, Nate, this is crazy, I don't dose uh, EC, but you do uh, dose pH, and you also dose iron, right? So um, with a system like this, you can set it up so it automatically doses your iron on a set schedule. So you can measure out your iron, make it concentrate out of your chelated iron concentrate, and you can set these systems up so that on a set schedule every week, every two weeks, every day, it squirts a little bit of iron into your system and just maintains good iron uh, levels in your, in your solution. Same thing for pH. If you're tired of going out and constantly monitoring pH or seeing your pH kind of drop a little too far and starting to impact nitrification in your system, you can set up these systems and there are even simpler systems than this that will uh, monitor your pH and dose your system. So if you're using potassium hydroxide, something like that, you just mix up a little potassium hydroxide in, a, uh, you know, in your bucket and your dosing system will pull that base out of that bucket and constantly raise pH in response to the set points that you can set for your own system. So a dosing system usually has a couple different components. And the main one is the kind of the computer. So this is the main computer here. And uh, this is standalone. We can hook it up to a, a PC if we want and kind of um, uh, set things uh, through a computer. But uh, it's easy enough, you know, just to set here, uh, you know, on the main menu, you know, be able to do all of these different things um, on this little computer itself. And uh, we wire in uh, EC and pH monitors. So here we have uh, in our little test bucket in here, we've got a little pH probe. And we've got our um, EC probe here. So these just set down inside our mixing tank. They set inside our mixing tank and we've got a pump in there that pumps water up to those probes and circulates water around them so they're constantly getting a feel for, for uh, what the, the solution EC and pH and temperature is. And um, then this system is analyzing that and this is actually, we're running a little high on EC right now. I've been kind of messing with the system the last couple days and a little high on pH as well. Um, but I've disabled pH dosing for the time being. Um, and the EC is, uh, it goes up, but the only way to bring EC down is through dilution. So I'll dilute it this, this afternoon, hook up the water uh, valve, and this will actually do automatic top off. So instead of putting a float valve in there, these will uh, top off your tank automatically with a water sensor. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is kind of the main piece. You've got the, the uh, computer here. We've got all the inputs, which are like EC, pH. That's telling the computer what uh, the, the solution EC and pH is. And then the computer makes a decision. And if it falls below a set point, say for EC, uh, it controls little pumps over on this side, little peristaltic pumps. And these pumps will turn on and will pull solution from the buckets down here and dump them into our main system. So really kind of simple. Um, these pumps are, are moving pretty small volumes at a time, but that's the way you want it. You want it to constantly be uh, moving a smaller volume and responding slowly rather than dumping a whole bunch in and making a mistake. So it does take a little time to fully mix into the system. So running it a little slower uh, gives you a little bit of, uh, gives the system a time to adjust and time for it to get fully mixed before the computer doses it again. Um, in these buckets over here, we're running a two-part 
solution. So I've got my part A and my, uh, my Epsom salt in this bucket. And then I've got my part B, or my um, uh, calcium nitrate in this bucket. Pre-mix, concentrate, and it just doses, you know, four seconds on this and then four seconds on this every time it needs to raise EC. Um, over there I've got an acid and it will just dump that acid into my system on command uh, to uh, drop my pH. So it's a very, very cool, very efficient system. Pumps it up, drops it into uh, my mixing tank up here. And the biggie is making sure that our, um, that these are kind of exposed uh, so we're not siphoning back into our, our buckets and making sure these aren't too high so we're not siphoning into our mixing tank. But um, either way, that's not typically a problem. And uh, these systems will work really, really well for almost anyone, regardless of the type of system you have. So there are a lot of different kinds of dosing systems out there, from the most basic like pH dosing system, which is what probably most of you aquaponic growers would be interested in, to kind of these middle of the road, uh, you know, small commercial uh, dosing systems, all the way up to just ginormous ones that cost you a boatload of money, but are worth it if you're doing, you know, uh, many, many thousands of square feet of production. Lots of different options there. If you have any questions, make sure you get a hold of us and uh, we're happy to make some recommendations. Uh, I hope this video was useful to you, uh, you know, reviewing kind of just what a dosing system is, what it does, and who it might be useful to. Uh, make sure you subscribe and check out our blog. We always post a lot more information over there on everything we talk about in these videos. Thanks so much for watching.